The United States Marines are world famous for their deadly rifle fire. The Corps has a saying, every Marine a rifleman. Whether you're in the, the air command element, whether you're in the ground command element, when it comes down to the bare bone minimum, every Marine is a rifleman. They can pick up a weapon and they can put a well-aimed shot down range and accurately engage a target. Marines' emphasis on rifles and marksmanship sets them apart from other units. Compared to the Army, recruits and Marines spend more time on the range and must shoot more accurately. The Marines' reputation for marksmanship was first earned in World War I. The rifle that made their name in that conflict is a legend of American firearms, the 1903 Springfield. A bolt-action rifle with excellent sights. It was designed with one aim in mind, accuracy. The Springfield is a rifleman's rifle. It could be aimed, and it could be aimed accurately at long range. The origins of the Springfield can be traced to a German classic, the Mauser. The Mauser is famous as the pattern of rifle used by the German army in World War I and World War II. When it first appeared in the late 19th century, it was a quantum leap in rifle design. Fast to load fast to fire. Its bullets were smokeless and deadly accurate. In my mind, the, one of the most influential rifles would probably be the Mauser. The, most of the bolt guns today are copied from the Mauser action. Key to the Mauser's dominance was its loading system. The rifle was fed with five rounds secured on a stripper clip. Instead of loading individual loose rounds, five could be loaded at once directly into the rifle's magazine. U.S. troops first encountered the Mauser during the Spanish-American War of 1898. The Spanish had bought into the German rifle wholesale, arming thousands of troops. Opposing them, U.S. troops fielded two different rifles, the Krag Jorgensen and the Trapdoor Springfield. A single-shot breech loader, by the turn of the 20th century, the trap door was very long in the tooth. This is called the Trap Door Springfield, model 1873. The reason it's called a trap door is because you go to half cock here, pull up the trap door, and you load here. You push that down, full cock, and fire. Its single shot capacity made the trap door very slow to load and fire. And being slow against the Mauser, was suicide. On the battlefield, this is a single shot weapon. And because it's a single shot weapon, you're at a tremendous disadvantage. A repeating weapon can generate lots more firepower than this, and the Spanish had this particular piece way, way outgunned. The trap door was outclassed. America's other rifle, the Krag Jorgensen, also flopped. There was still this attitude that soldiers could not conserve their own ammunition. So the Craig was adopted because it was actually slower to load than a clip Mauser and had a single shot capability. Time and again, the Krag was left for dead by the fast loading Mauser when the two faced off in combat. Finally, the top brass learned its lesson. Stung by contact with the Mauser, US weaponologists adapted its design. The result was the 1903 Springfield. Featuring the Mauser stripper clip, the Springfield became the fastest American rifle to date. When put head to head with the Krag, the 1903 Springfield superiority is obvious. Ready on the firing line. Gentlemen, open fire. From a loaded start to five rounds, both the bolt-operated Krag and 1903 Springfield match each other for rate of fire. Both put the same number of rounds down range at the enemy. The difference comes at the reload. The 1903 stripper clip inserts five fresh rounds in six seconds. The Krag is still being loaded one round at a time, taking a huge 12 seconds before it's ready to fire again. 
While the 1903 shooter is laying down accurate fire, the Krag shooter is fumbling for his ammo. A sitting duck for the enemy. The 1903 Springfield was adopted by the Marine Corps in 1910. Marines instantly fell in love with its speed and accuracy. The reason the Marine Corps liked this weapon so much is because you can fire accurately out to 2,700 yards. And the Marine Corps put a premium on marksmanship. In the hands of a rifleman, is a real killer. Armed with Springfields, the Marines were itching to get into combat. They wouldn't have to wait long. At the Battle of Bellow Wood in World War I, U.S. troops again faced opponents armed with Mausers. This time, it would be the Americans who'd give the lesson in marksmanship. When the United States Marines showed up at Bellow Wood in France during World War I, they demonstrated the value of that long-range firing when they were opening effective fire on the Germans at 800 yards and more. The German troops thought they were safe and simply thought these were rounds raining from the sky. The Marines knew different, and they ran up a heavy body toll before the Germans learned you do not face the U.S. Marines with a Springfield rifle. The Germans were so stunned, they nicknamed the Marines Teufelhunden, or Devil Dogs. Their reputation for excellent marksmanship was sealed. Fast forward to the present day, and the successors to the legendary Marines of Bella Wood are operating in Iraq. Marine Corps scout snipers are the pinnacle of 21st century Marine marksmanship. They have to be the toughest, most accurate Marines on the block. The qualities we look for in a, in a Marine sniper is they need to be an expert shooter. They need to have a first class physical fitness score. It's things like maturity, judgment, self-discipline come into play when you have a small team that's out there supporting uh, an infantry battalion. The 1903 Springfield of their great-grandfather's generation has been replaced by the scoped M40. With this rifle, Marine snipers take down targets on the streets of Iraq. Their deadly accurate shooting aids infantry squads to take the fight to the insurgents and save Marine lives. Sniping is, is kind of like being a guardian angel on a battlefield. It's not necessarily about how many kills you got, it's about how many lives you save. You're there to protect your fellow Marines and to allow that squad leader to close with the enemy uh, and do whatever it is he needs to do. 